really happy to be here with my friend, old friend, even though he's very young, uh, Jan Lyshetsky, incredible pianist and wonderful friend. And I'm really happy to see you after so many years because when I met you, uh, you were a baby, baby, baby. Well, yeah. you were talking about yourself that you were the baby. I was a baby, <laughs> baby. You were a baby, <laughs> baby, baby, baby. I was an infant. And then I remember you at our house in uh, Vermont playing our piano and everyone, everybody just astonished by your talent. How old were you then? Like 15? Probably. Like 15. And now you're 21. You're a very mature old pianist. <laughs> uh, actually, we, we joke about it, but the truth is you are. And I was really amazed last night because we had a concert, our first concert with the Tonhalle Orchestra Zurich, where um, we performed together Mozart's ninth piano concerto, Genami, and he uh, he played so beautifully. And then after you played an encore, what was the encore? The encore was the Schumann Reverie. Schumann Reverie. So, for a 21-year-old pianist who who has the ability to play any piece in the repertoire like a like a star, uh, to come out and play such a simple, subtle, uh, fine little piece as an encore that that requires so much finesse, but at the same time could be played, uh, you know, almost by any pianist. It's not a very yeah. difficult, technically uh, technically speaking, piece. But that shows so much maturity. I was really impressed because I thought, wow. And to go out in, in, in front of the Swiss audience and play that as an encore, I thought that is incredible. But don't you find that Mozart has the same elegance and challenging difficulty of simplicity uh, yes. as this too? And I think um, often the, the easiest things for a large orchestra like the Tonhalle uh, are the most challenging, make them really go back to their roots. And I think you were very successful in making them uh, play in, in a very pure and crisp style. Do you have different ideas for the encore before and you decide in the moment or are you pretty much planned tonight is going to be this? I generally plan. I like to. I'm, I like the confidence of knowing what I'm going to perform. It's very funny. It, it, of course, I could play at least a dozen pieces in the moment, but, but I like having that feeling of actually having it planned because sometimes after the emotions of the concert, after you've finished playing the whole concerto, you lose a little bit of focus. It's almost uh, challenging to, to describe. But when you get back onto stage and you still have to play after you've finished, in a sense. Uh, to re, well, to recapture the audience first of all, because they've all been relaxed too after the concert. To get them back in the moment, so I, I like a slow encore for that, um, and not only slow, but something that that speaks from the heart and not from the fingers, because well, I've already played the main course, and I don't want the encore to supersede what. Yeah. Yes, exactly. The point is not many young pianists understand that and the, the idea of showing off and to you know move your fingers as fast as possible and do all this you know uh, is going around a lot and I, it's just so refreshing and mature to see you do that and um, it's, it's such a pleasure to work with you. But as you said, I mean, every, thank you, but as <laughs> everybody can play quickly, right? And everybody can play simply. So it's finding, it, it both are challenging in their own ways and you have to find your own voice, no matter if you're playing something that's virtuosic, uh, very difficult and you find almost has no music because it's all quick and big and virtuosic. You always have to find music and the same with the simple things. It's not that, yes, I could learn it in a day or in two hours and play it in front of an audience. It's about what you have to say and uh, for me in encores and I wonder how it is for you it's always important to have a piece that has something to say and I'm able to play it every time I do it differently and to 
to adjust it based on how I feel with the audience. Thank you.